Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Marla Stevens and I am a member of the steering committee with the Citizen Action Organizing Co-op and I'm going to be the moderator for today's program. I want to uh, thank uh, Pastor Hagen and Tipka New Presbyterian Church for hosting this event and I also want to do a shout out to all of our co-sponsors, uh, especially the Fair Elections Project and Wisconsin Voices, uh, the Uptown Neighborhood, I'm sorry, the Uptown Crossing Neighborhood Association, MICA, Organizing for Action, um, I don't want to leave anybody out, AFNHP, River West Votes, WEAC Region 7, the ACLU, um, I said MICA, Common Cause Southeast. So as you can see, there are a lot of organizations that care about this issue and uh, along with you and I. So um, I'm gonna do uh, uh, just a brief overview for you of Citizen Action Organizing Co-op, who we are, why we're putting this on. We are uh, citizens in the greater Milwaukee area who banded together and said, you know, all of these community organizers are working on things that foundations want them to work on. And the organizers at Citizen Action kind of got together one day and said, wouldn't it be nice if we could work on something that the people in our community want us to work on? And so the people in the community said, we'll, we'll kick in, we'll kick in something every month to pay an organizer's salary. And that's what citizen action is. It's a number of citizens who are committed to paying the salary of an organizer and who want to work on issues. So our fair elections team, our co-op members, decided they wanted to work on the issue of partisan voting districts. And so that's how we find ourselves here today. Uh, and I want to thank the other members of the fair elections team who are here today staffing this event as they have staffed all the ones that went before. So, the agenda overview is this. Um, we're all here to talk about Wisconsin's voting district maps and how they're unfair, and what we can do to work together to make sure that that doesn't continue to happen every 10 years that we have a census and every 10 years that the maps are redrawn. So, when, one, when voting maps are drawn to favor one political party over another, that's known as gerrymandering, and that's what we're gonna delve into today. Unfair voting maps, voting maps that unfairly disadvantage one party over another, affect all of the issues that everyone in this room cares about, whether it's the homeless, whether it's disproportionate minority incarceration, whether it's lead in the water, whether it's CAFOs that put shit in the water, um, Whatever your issue is, if we don't have political power translated in being able to elect representatives who will fight for those issues, then we are screwed. So that's why this is an important issue. Um, we're gonna start out with um, um, Shantae Nelson from Wisconsin Voices, who's gonna talk about what we need to know about unfair voting maps and gerrymandering. Sachin Chetta from uh, from the um, Fair Elections Project is gonna talk about the case that's pending in the United States Supreme Court right now and why it's one of the most important cases to come up in the last 10 years and what it means for putting some, putting some uh, limits on partisan gerrymandering. And finally, I'm gonna come back and talk about what we can all do to make sure that redistricting is done in a nonpartisan manner going forward. 